Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing inverse Laplace transform, type number 1 basic problems, problem number 1 to 4. Welcome back friends, now we are starting with inverse Laplace transform, type number 1 basic problems and we will be discussing first 4 problems in this particular video. Obviously as the name says basic problem so these problems are just a practice and we'll see how to implement the formulas so let us start with the first problem the first problem is let us assume the given function as phi of s in case of laplace inverse all the problems will be in terms of s and all the solutions will be in terms of t so here it is a laplace inverse of 2 by s plus 1 upon s cube plus 1 upon 4s plus 5. The basic property will remain same. You can separate Laplace inverse here because all the terms are separated with plus or minus. Yes. So let us do it. Let us separate. So this is Laplace inverse of 2 by s plus Laplace inverse of 1 upon s cube plus Laplace inverse of 1 upon 4s plus 5. If you observe the first term, you can take 2 common from first term. So it will be 2 Laplace inverse of 1 upon s plus this term. See, this 2 is a constant and constant will come out of Laplace inverse and will be left with 1 upon s. I am not touching this term. I am keeping it as it is because 1 upon s cube, I know direct formula of uh, 1 upon s cube. What about this term? Please check the formula and tell me. Do we have any formula for this particular term? Yes or no? Just check. No. If you check the formulas, in all the formulas, the coefficient of s is always 1. Right from the beginning, e raised to at, 1 upon s minus a, s plus a, s square plus a square and so on. In all the formulas, the coefficient of s is 1. So here it should be 1, 4 is not allowed. Therefore, you need to take 4 common here. You need to take 4 common. So that 4 will be outside that you're going to take common. And taking common means dividing. Taking common means dividing. That means you're going to divide both the terms with the 4. Because you took 4 common. 4 common means you're going to divide both the terms with 4. 4, 4 cancel. You'll be left with S plus C here. 5 by 4. So this is simply taking 4 common. Taking common means dividing both the terms divided by 4. This will be s plus 5 by 4. Now we can apply Laplace inverse. 1 upon s Laplace inverse is 1 formula number 1. 1 upon s cube. 1 upon s raised to n plus 1. What is the formula? t raised to n upon n factorial. 1 upon s cube formula is s raised to n plus 1 is what? t raised to n upon n factorial. What we do? See here. What is the formula? t raised to n upon n factor. What we do? We subtract 1 and take factorial. So this will be 3. So let's subtract 1. So this will be t square upon 2 factorial. Next. This is 1 upon 4. What about this? This is 1 upon s plus a. This is your a. And what is the formula 1 upon s plus a? e raised to minus a t. So this is a. So therefore it will be e raised to minus 5 by 4 into t. This is the solution of the first problem. Let us discuss the next example. Yes, let us start. How to solve this problem? See, this problem individually can't come in the exam. But while solving the bigger problems, these things can be an intermediate step of a bigger problem. So, uh, you need to know how to solve this. Okay, so tell me how to solve this. Yes, if you get a problem like this, you need to separate here. So this will be written as Laplace inverse of you must separate here. This can be done, no problem. S squared plus 16 is the LCM and in the numerator this 3S plus 4. So that is okay. Now these two terms are separated by plus. So you can simply write it down as 
लाप्लास इनवर्स ऑफ थ्री एस अपॉन एस स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्सटीन प्लस लाप्लास इनवर्स ऑफ फोर अपॉन एस स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्सटीन सो यू कैन सेपरेट नाउ टेल मी व्हाट इज द लाप्लास इनवर्स ऑफ दिस टर्म ऑब्वियसली इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर टर्म दिस थ्री इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट दैट विल कम आउट एस अपॉन एस स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्सटीन इज वॉट कॉस फोर cos 4t laplace is this term so its inverse is cos 4t plus what about this see here a upon s square plus a square a upon s square plus a square is what sin 8t right that is sin 4t sin 4t is laplace is this term its inverse laplace is sin 4t done with problem number 2 let us discuss the next example problem number 3 again similar to problem number 2 ideally it's recommended you should solve this problem by yourself pause this video solve the problem and verify your result 2s plus 4 upon s square plus 9 what to do next same separate 2s upon s square plus 9 plus 4 upon s square plus 9 let us look individually on both the terms see here if you observe this term this 2 is out constant that will come out what about this term if you compare this term with this see here in this particular term this is actually in the formula direct formula how a upon s square plus a square 4 square is 16 but this is not the case here suppose see here 4 upon s square plus 16 so this is direct formula sin 4t but the problem here is here it is 4 and here it is 9 if it would be 16 like this answer is sin 4t but here ha huh, suppose if this is 3 then then it is in the formula what is the formula a upon s square plus a square and the result will be sin 3t but problem is this is 4 right so you need to take 4 outside and you will be left with this what is laplace inverse of s upon s square plus 9 cos 3t Plus four into Laplace inverse of one upon s square plus nine one upon a sine a t. So this is one upon s square plus a square. So what is the formula? Go back and check one upon a sine a t. So that is one upon three sine three t. One upon a sine a t. Done with formula number three. Let us discuss the next example. Last example for this particular video. Laplace inverse of phi s Equal to Laplace inverse of s upon s minus two is to six. So this is the last example for this particular video. Yes, please tell me how to find Laplace inverse of this term. See, you need to remember all these things because these things will come as an intermediate step while solving the bigger problems. Yes, please. How to solve this? Do you find shifting here? S is shifted by minus two. Do you find shifting here? and the answer should be no why whenever we apply let me give an example just a wait let me give an example e raised to 2t cos let's say 2t please tell me how to find laplace of this term what is the technique we'll forget about this exponential part that is your fsp we'll find out laplace of cos 2t what is laplace of cos 2t s upon s square plus 4 and due to this 2 s will be shifted by s minus 2 so plus 2 s will be shifted by minus 2 till now okay fine this is your shifting see here this is your shifting this s is shifted as well as this s is shifted shifting means see here shifting means every s must be shifted so if you observe the given problem here it is not shifting why because denominator is shifted by minus 2 but numerator is not shifted by minus 2 so shifting is not there so when it will be shifting suppose instead of this if you get like this then it will be shifting suppose this is the case then it is a shifting every s must be shifted here in this problem denominator s is shifted but numerator s is not shifted this is not a shifting case then what needs to be done if this is the case 
वॉट यू गोना डू एज यू गोना टेक यू गोना कन्वर्ट न्यूमिनेटर अकॉर्डिंग टू डिनोमिनेटर वेरी ऑफन यू विल फाइंड दिस सिचुएशन इन विच वन एस विल बी शिफ्टेड द अनदर एस विल नॉट बी शिफ्टेड और शिफ्टेड विद डिफरेंट टर्म्स लाइक हियर इट इज एस माइनस टू हियर इट इज एस प्लस टू देर इज अ शिफ्टिंग बट इट्स नॉट अ प्रॉपर शिफ्टिंग वाई बिकॉज डिनोमिनेटर शिफ्टेड बाय माइनस टू एंड द न्यूमिनेटर शिफ्टेड बाय प्लस टू सो इट्स नॉट अ प्रॉपर शिफ्टिंग वेरी ऑफन यू विल फाइंड अ सिचुएशन लाइक दिस सो वॉट नीड्स टू बी डन ऑलवेज रिमेंबर इफ दिस इज द सिचुएशन ऑलवेज अ कन्वर्ट हाइपरबोलिक ऑलवेज चेंज न्यूमरेटर अकॉर्डिंग टू डिनोमिनेटर ऑलवेज चेंज न्यूमरेटर अकॉर्डिंग टू डिनोमिनेटर सी वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू से इन द डिनोमिनेटर एस माइनस टू रेस टू सिक्स ऑलवेज चेंज न्यूमरेटर अकॉर्डिंग टू डिनोमिनेटर सो न्यूमरेटर इज एस चेंज इट अकॉर्डिंग टू डिनोमिनेटर सो इन द डिनोमिनेटर वी हैव एस माइनस टू सो कन्वर्ट न्यूमरेटर एस इन टू एस माइनस टू If you write s minus two, obviously you have to write plus two so that the effect will be nullified. So whenever you get a situation in which numerator and denominator are shifted with the different terms, always change numerator according to denominator. You can make a note of it. Please pause this video, go back and check with the statement and make a note of it. Now you can separate. Let's separate. so this will be written as this upon this this upon this s minus 2 upon s minus 2 raised to 6 plus 2 upon s minus 2 raised to 6 just a separate s minus 2 upon this 2 upon this okay what next so this will be laplace inverse of obviously this will be cancelled and you will be left with 1 upon s minus 2 raised to 5 plus 2 upon s minus 2 raised to 6 go back and check do we have obviously you can separate laplace inverse here go back and check do we have any formula for finding laplace inverse of this s minus 2 raised to 5 no we don't have direct formula so this is the case of formula number 12 and 13 in which shifting is there see here this s is shifted so if the s is shifted what you going to do uh, let me write down formula here just for the sake of reference suppose you have something like this let's say to be very specific s minus a it will be e raised to at into laplace inverse of phi s so this is the formula i am going to apply here see here here it is minus a here it is minus a then it i am going to write plus a here it is minus 2 therefore i am going to write plus 2t and after that forget about this shifting forget about this shifting whatever you see write it down here minus 2 it is e raised to 2t forget about the shifting whatever you see write it down what what do you see here 1 upon s raised to 5 the same concept i am going to apply here obviously this 2 is a constant that will come out if you separate laplace inverse This two is a constant that will come out one upon s minus two raised to six. What you can see, shifting again with the minus two, right? So here it is a shifting minus two e raised to two t outside into just remove this shifting. Whatever you see, write it down as it is. This two is already we have taken out one upon s raised to six. So here it will be Laplace inverse of one upon s raised to six. Let's find it out the Laplace inverse of one upon s raised to five. What is the formula? See this. Subtract one, take factorial. So this is s raised to five. So that will be t raised to four upon four factorial plus two e raised to two t into this is what t raised to five upon five factorial. So this is your required solution for this particular problem. so that's it this is one of the most important problem because this situation you you're going to find it very oftenly in which one term will be shifted other will not or both the terms will be shifted with the different values in that case you need to adjust the numerator according to denominator hope you understood problem these problems are the basic problems practice well so that you can solve the bigger problem thank you